Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are back with the second episode of the Wayne Rooney Derby County career mode on FIFA 21 and it's a good one for you boys today. We have got transfers coming in and out of the club if we receive the right offer that is. We've got games in the championship against the likes of Brentford, a massive, massive game, our first away game as Derby manager of course and we start our journey in the League Cup. It's going to be a tricky thing to do but can we win our first bit of silverware as Wayne Rooney? in his managerial career again it'll be really really difficult to win the trophy but it's a big one whilst we are still in it of course as well if you guys go on to enjoy the today's video smash the like button subscribe if you are new we did hit 350 the other day so i'm setting you guys a challenge can we hit 400 subscribers by the time march comes around that's going to be a tricky one that gives you just over a month to get there can we get to 400 that would be absolutely crazy if we can but without further do let's kick start this episode let's go through the fixtures that we have got to today so then boys here are the three fixtures we will be completing in today's episode of course i do normally play four games or at least i did in the end of the united career mode however whilst we're in the transfer window both the summer and the january window i will be keeping out of three games i'll be playing two and simming one whilst we can try and get a bit of deals done in each episode i know i would like to play four games and i will do once we're out of the window but whilst we're in the window this goes for future episodes as well i will only be doing the three games so the three games games today we've got a massive away game against a Brentford the first away game in Wayne Rooney's managerial career can we get a win that'd be fantastic then we've got another away game this time out against Shrewsbury in the cup I will be playing that I would have normally simmed it however whilst we're in the championship of course there are so so many fixtures I think there's over 40 games in the championship 42 if I'm right um, and we don't want to be like wasting everyone's fitness however I do think we can get the, at least into the playoffs. I don't reckon we'll win the whole league, but playoffs would be fantastic. And I think the fact we have that breathing room to drop a couple points here and there if we have to, I do want to go for the Cups. The FA Cup would be insane. That is the dream. But the Carabao Cup or League Cup, whatever you want to call it, is also there to be won. So we're going to go for it. We might not go all the way, but we are going to go for it. And we start our journey with Shrewsbury. And then to end the episode, we have got a home game against Luton, which we will be simming, which could be... Go either way. We've not simmed a game with this team, of course. So that is just going to be complete luck. But without further ado, before we get into the Brentford game, that is, I do want to make that right back sign in between Sambia and Lamptey. So then, boys, the decision has been made. We are going to go for Tyreek Lamptey, purely because Sambia has gone on loan to Aston Villa, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping we could have got Sambia. However, Lamptey is probably the better option. Anyway. He is a lot shorter, a lot less weak foot and skill moves. However, he was a lot younger and better already. So Tyreek Lamptey, if we can get him in for between four to six million would be ideal. That would be a fantastic signing for the Rams. Without further ado, let's try get him over the line this could be really really difficult Graham Potter might not want to let him go he is one of the best youth players in the league so they value him at 3.8 million let's go for 4 million straight out the bat we're not going to dodge it 4 million if we can get that would be fantastic oh okay they want the sell on clause I will remove the sell on clause but keep it at that 4 million 50k if you want they want five now. Okay. 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 Hang on. Um, let's take it down to four million five hundred. No selling clause. Come on. They want five two. Right. I'll give you five million. I'll take five million for Lamptey. Come on. Five point two. They they don't want any less. Okay. Five million with. A 5% sell-on clause if we were to sell him in the future. They'll say yes to that. Perfect. Graham Potter has accepted a 5 million deal for Tyreek Lamptey. Now all we have to do is negotiate with the player himself. He will be straight into the team as our first choice right back. So we can give him crucial if he so wishes. What is he asking for? We'll, we'll, I'll put him Porter to see if we can get away with it. We can do. Okay, perfect. If we do have to drop him, he won't get all antsy about it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Four-year deal, keeping him in until he's 23. I'm completely happy with that. Uh, no release clause. Yep, that is perfect. He's on a 14 grand a week. But what, is he going to ask for anything? No, okay. 20k a week. Let's try it off of that. Let's do that. I, is he happy with that? 
He is happy with that. 20,000 a week for Tyreek Lamptey. And he is now a Derby County player. Was it 5 million exactly? Our most expensive signing so far. Making it our second signing of the summer window. Tyreek Lamptey. We'll give him... I don't know what number we'll get him yet. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Of course, Diallo is, of course, as well, staying the number 19. Um, hope if you guys have any other suggestions, I am open to changing it. But he is the number 19 for now. Tyreek Lamptey. I'll just see what number is available and we'll give him one. But welcome to the club, Lamptey. So, boys, here we go. The second game of the championship season. This time out away from home for the first time against Brentford. Two changes to the team that did beat Rotherham 3-1. We've got Lamptey making his derby debut. And we've got Josviak getting a start ahead of Tom Lawrence. Lawrence didn't play exceptionally bad against Rotherham. It's just Josviak. I said at the start of the um, series, I wanted to play him more. He looks good. It's just he didn't have the sharpness to start in the team without getting downgraded. He's back now. He's got his plus three. He looks like... Like he's on form and he got an assist when he came on last time out for Ahmad. Of course, Ahmad does stay on the bench even though he scored twice in the game previously. Waghorn stays up front. Decent team. Marshall keeps his place in goal. Even though Roos did want to start, I'm going to stay with Marshall until he drops down a little bit more. But decent team. However, Brentford's got some decent players. They got Tony up front. They got Norgard, De Silva, Janssen. Decent ish team. Henry at left back. Could be could be a tricky game here, but without further ado, let's get at it, boys. Here we go, boys. Away from home against Brentford. Of course, Brentford did do really good in real life in the championship last year with the likes of Ben Rama and Ollie Watkins up front. This time out, they're definitely a bit more weakened after selling both of those players to different Premier League clubs, respectively. But they're still going to be a tricky team with some of the players I did mention in the little preview part. We've got some good players of our own, though. Hopefully, we can come away making it six points out of a possible six. Keep our undefeated streak going. Make it two wins out of two. It's going to be a tricky one. Let's get into it. Into Josviak. Not many chances, if any, in the first half an hour of this game. It's going to be a bit of a dead one, as things stand. But Josviak with the first chance of the game. Nothing comes of it again. This has been so dead, honestly. First half an hour, absolutely nothing has happened. Come on, slide. Oh, he's completely messed that up. Here's Bailek versus De Silva. There can be one winner here. And it wasn't Bailek. Here's Mbembu. <laughs> or have you say his name? Oh, no. Great chance. The first chance for Brentford to really get a shot off. Tony's been blocked off. Come on. Big tackle from Bailek there. Half time. That was a bit sketchy. Proper dead first half. Nothing happened at all, to be honest, boys. As we kick off the second half, honestly, there has been nothing happened in that first half. I don't even know if there's a highlight for you that first half. Honestly, it has been so, so dead. But second half, we're going to try something different. Ahmad is coming on for Waghorn. No, no one's done anything, really. It's not just Waghorn. I just thought, you know, Ahmad's on form. Let's get him on the pitch. See what he can do. Nice. He's Lamptey. Into Jordan Ibe. Here's Holmes. He's trying to play it through to Ahmad. And Ahmad's gone through. First chance of the game. He fake shots it and he scores. Lamptey with his first touches of the game. Off the bench. Saves us once again. We want something to happen. We brought him on to make something happen. And he's done exactly that with his third goal in two appearances so far. He came off the bench in this one and the last one. He's not even made a full game yet and he scored three goals. This kid could be insane. I don't know. How, oh, boys. Quality. It was a nice bit of play, but nothing came of it. As Jordan and I push it through to Lamptey. He keeps it in. Here's Tyreek Lamptey. Cross it in, lads. Go on. It's a great ball into Mad. What a pass. The two new signings linking up. Tyreek Lamptey with a debut assist and a second game in a row where Mad has got two goals. He's not even played a full game, like I said last time. But that pass from Lamptey from the right back, the overlapping fullback role, absolutely fantastic from Lamptey. The two new signings linking up to perfection. Look at this cross. Absolutely gorgeous. Ahmad just does enough to get past the defender. Fantastic. And it's 2-0. Definitely a better second half compared to the first. Oh, gorgeous. Big tackle. There's Holmes. Into oh, look how easy it is. He's through again. What is happening? This is ultimate difficulty. This is ultimate difficulty. And a mad Diallo Traore has just come off the bench within 20 minutes and scored a hat-trick. What is this? <laughs> Honestly, this is ultimate difficulty. You saw before we went into the game. What is happening? This kid is fantastic. Oh my god. His fifth goal in not even a full two games yet. 
that's insane. As the ref adds on three minutes, and honestly, guys, I have no clue what is happening. This Brentford team is not a bad team, in my opinion, anyway. But somehow we've con we've turned up, and a man has come off the bench at half time and just completely tore them apart. That was an amazing pass, to be fair, from the Brentford defender there. What a goal that was! Jesus Christ! Did you see that little scorpion kick pass? Watch this. That right there. That's gorgeous. What an assist that was. You know what? I don't even mind conceding that. 3-1 once again. What a goal that was. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was crazy. Is the ref going to blow the whistle now? There we go. For the second game in a row, the game finishes. Three goals to Derby. One to the other team. Triore with an off-the-bench hat-trick. Three attempts on goal. Three goal scores. Absolutely crazy. He's not even played a full 90 minutes yet. And he's got five goals. This guy could be the best 1.3 million I have ever spent on any career mode. I know it might be unrealistic the fact we got him any, at, at all. But that is crazy. It's crazy. Next up, League Cup against Shrewsbury. Right then guys, as we get into the second game of the episode, this time out in the League Cup against Shrewsbury. Away from home, we have made a decent amount of changes to be fair. We've got Rusinger, we've got Brian and Wisdom and Forsyth making their first appearances of the season. Well, actually that's a lie. Brian has been playing before we got Lamptey. We've got Shinny keeping his place. Uh, Lawrence comes back in the team. Sibley, Diallo and Bird with Mitchell Law on the right. A lot of the younger players coming in like Diallo getting his first start. Sibley getting his first start. Bird getting his first start. A couple big players have to have a big performance here. Sibley I'm looking to replace Holmes with very, very in the near future. Diallo, he's looking like he's our main striker already at 18 years of age. He's still like six overalls less than um, on but he's playing good and if he keeps doing that he'll definitely be in the team soon as you can see a lot of the players have got minus ones and minus twos that's purely down to fitness and sharpness if it comes to it i will make the subs that are needed but hopefully we can come away with a big win and progress to the next round of the cup let's do this here we go boys our first cup game of the season against a lower league Shrewsbury but just because they're in the league below does not mean it is an easy game we are definitely are the favourites to go through however we have gone for a really really rotated 11 there is still players like Tom Lawrence and they're shiny as well quality players and of course Ahmad Diallo Traore five goals in his previous two appearances off the bench gets his first start for the club can he be as much as a difference starting as he is off the bench hat trick in the previous match let's get another more boys uh oh uh oh uh oh indeed it's gone through and it's in just under 20 minutes in Shrewsbury take the early lead advantage to Shrewsbury I mean, you can't say they haven't deserved it. We've had maybe one chance to get in their final third, but Shrewsbury have dominated the ball, as you'd expect against the AI. It's a good finish, to be fair. They moved it around quality, and they ended up getting it back of the net. 1-0 to the Shrews. Here's Diallo. Finds Sibley. Back into Diallo. The teenagers linking up here. Sibley plays it through into Ahmad. Ahmad have a chance here to get a goal, and he just puts it wide. He dragged it a little bit. It was so close to going in bottom corner. Sibley and Diallo linking up there. The two 18-year-olds so close to finding the bottom corner. Gorgeous play. Shrewsbury have got a pass. Shrewsbury are through and it's a huge tackle from Wisdom. What a tackle from Wisdom that was. Jesus Christ. Here's Mitchell Lawson. Plays it into Diallo. Into Sibley. Trying to get it back into a mad. Come on Diallo lad. Can't quite get it past. Second half, we are bringing on Josviak to play on the right instead of Mitchell Lawson. He's not played bad, it's just I don't remember him doing absolutely anything in our first half. So, Josviak is on. Ten minutes into the second half, Pew with a chance. Come on. Oh no, oh, he's in! What a header from, is that Clark? What a header from Shrewsbury's man, Clark, that was. Jesus Christ. That is an absolute bullet, is it in? The whole ball needs to go in. Uh, it's just about in. What a goal that is from Shrewsbury. That's fantastic, to be fair. Boys, we're 2-0 down, though. Here's Diallo. Plays it through. Maybe he doesn't. He gets completely taken out. My players are absolutely shattered right now. Oh, and he's through. And it's a great chance to make it 3-0 for Clark. And it is. 
Game over. We'll bring Wagon on for the last 10 minutes. But it is absolutely dead and buried. 3-0. Shrewsbury have knocked out high-scoring derby from the League Carabao Cup. It's a shame. Definitely a shame. It's a competition I wanted to go far in. Oh, but I guess the FA Cup's more important. <laughs> Don't you dare be 4 0. It actually is. Oh, it's 4 0. I've got no words. We have been torn apart by Shrewsbury. Absolutely torn apart. It can't be 5. It can't be 5. A doe is running through. Surely it's not 5 0. It is. It's 5 0. It's actually 5-0. We are getting absolutely battered, boys. Oh, I can't be asked. That's it. Game is over. Shrewsbury have not just beat Derby, but absolutely embarrassed them in the League Cup. Oh, my God, lads. That's, 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 actually, that's actually embarrassing. 5-0 defeat to Shrewsbury Town. Right then boys, here we go. The third and final game of the episode will be a simmed game at home back in the league against Luton Town. After we've been absolutely embarrassed by Shrewsbury away from home in the cup. Listen, I'm gutted. I literally said at the start of the episode, I do want to go somewhat far in this competition. However, I guess in the long run, it won't be as bad. Right now, it feels horrible. I really want to go on a cup run for you guys and for this series. However, we are out in the first round against Shrewsbury. And... I guess if you ask me to choose between one, the FA Cup or the League Cup, I'll choose the FA Cup every single day of the week. And I guess it might have been a bit naive of me. We won two games on Ultimate, and I thought, you know what, Ultimate difficulty, let's change our whole eleven more or less, and put in the kids like Sibley and Trari from the start, and we got absolutely torn apart, as if it was men against boys. But, on the bright side, we are still top of the Championship. On the goal difference, hopefully, we can keep our unbeaten run in the league going. Ultimate difficulty, of course, we are simming this, Bird is coming in as well as Knight and Davies purely be for fitness reasons. That is completely it. I know Bird is absolutely knackered as well, but it was him or Shinny, and I would rather Bird got injured instead of Shinny. I know Bird's younger and has more potential, but Shinny is better at the moment. So this is the team we're putting out. Hopefully, it'll be all right to win. Let's do this, boys. Come on. We need this. We need to pass back. Come on. We do, we give 2 0 win. Waghorn and Knight with their first goals of the season, respectively. In even game, when you look at it, man of the match has gone to Knight with an 8.8, .8, followed up with Marshall, followed up by Waghorn with an 8.1. Decent little ratings there from everyone, to be fair. All that matters is 2 0, 9 points out of a possible 9. Right then, boys, that is where we're going to end today's episode. Overall, it wasn't the worst. We did get humiliated in the cup. However, we did keep our winning start to the season going with two wins in this episode, making us one of only three teams yet to drop points in the league. Other two being Bournemouth, who played their fourth game and won, and what's the other one? Blackburn Rovers, who are yet to play their fourth, the uh, same as us. But overall, it's not been a bad start to the season. And Mad Diallo is top goal scorer with a whopping five goals in three games, which is crazy absolutely nuts if you ask me and he's only made an appearance in the second half of two of them which is nuts but like I said overall decent first little couple episodes hopefully we can continue that's good this good form into the next episode um, of course like I did mention this will probably be up some point on the Tuesday there is no live stream tonight but I will be back with more streams coming this week so stay tuned but um, yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy smash the like button if you did let me know down in the comments any improvements you'd like to make to the series and I'll see you next time peace